What up, SBF Car Junkie Gang? This is your boy Vashon V. Mello coming at you again with another car video. This time I got a sensor for y'all. All pressure switch sensor, 2007 Ford Freestar. Sorry, with this sensor right here, I'm gonna show you the easy way to get to it. There's no videos out there, that's why I'm making this video. I, I, I searched, it's not any, so I'm just gonna make it. But uh, here, I'm gonna just get straight to it, and I'm gonna show you the easiest way to take this thing off. Look, this, this is right here. You see it sitting right there? And also what I discovered is those wires all just broken up, the tape open, so, and uh, the oil light just coming on and off. It's got an oil light, so it's just like just blinking all like come on, stay on for a long time. It was riding real funny, so I just had to just, you know, uh, take care of it. Got the thing, I couldn't find a sensor because I never uh, had to locate one of these on one of these vehicles. It was hard to find. I couldn't find anything on the internet, so I said, you know what, I'm just gonna go digging. But uh, I found the easiest way to take it off so it can be easy for y'all, all right? All right, so all I did was took the alternator apart. That's it, take the alternator apart. This right here. And y'all familiar with this? This is the thing that the alternator sits on. That's it. Literally, in the side plate, of course, is attached to it. So if you see the side black plate right here, that right there, just unscrew this plate. This thing, the alternator sit on top, and the alternator, that's it. See, this is the process. One, two, and three. That's the steps. Un unhook the alternator, this thing, that the alternator sit on, and the side bracket thing that connects to this plate. So it's all connected, these three. Look, once again, one, two, and Okay, I'm gonna just show you. I'm in the front of the engine, right? The front front grill, okay. And I'm just going right where the alternator is at. And that's it. It's it sit right under the alternator and alternator plate. Bracket thingy, whatever. And that's it right there. So I'm gonna unplug it. And immediately once I unplug it, I see all inside of it. So that's a telltale sign that it's clogged. It's clogged and then I gotta repair a wire. So I'm not a wire specialist, man, and I'm gonna make it do what it do, best believe. I think, I believe it's a 15 millimeter. We about to see. 21 millimeter deep socket, bam. That size, just like that, 21 like that. It, it fits perfectly on there, so I'm about to see if I can snag this off real quick. There it is. Now the cheetah pipe can't do, oh. <coughs> that is. I'm about to knock a hole in the frame. Here it is. Y'all see it? Y'all seeing it here first. This video on how to take this out. You know what I mean? Nobody put nothing up, so guess what? We did. <laughs> so let's take a look at it. We're going to inspect this. See that? I'm, I zoomed in exactly where it says so they can see. Mm -hmm. See that? Bam. Right there. Come right out of there. Just make sure you don't jam no dirt up in there going back in. All right. See the inside? It got a little oil seepage in it. Look at that, there's a little oil inside. It's not much, but hey, I'ma change the sensor because I got a pot. It's pro possibility that it's bad. Or that wiring could be causing the light to keep going on and off. So I'm gonna just change, fix it all. Apparently this thing never been changed, but see how dry that one is on the inside? I don't think it's supposed to be any oil on the inside of these things, not at all. They're not supposed to come from the inside. Let me see the, yeah. So just match them up, make sure the same. These pretty much look, they look about what and what I guess. That's right there, it's the new little tape on it, so. Tight there. <laughs> so More than one way to skin a cat. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I ain't skinning no cat, I ain't doing nothing like that. Heck no. It's kind of strange. When you think about it. See, I got that already in there. I just twisted that in. Try to just put a piece of wire on it. 
see if I can just cover this up and wrap it with some electrical tape. I just cut up a piece of old wire. Just trying to see if I can protect this and stop it from shortening out. If that was the problem, because the light kept going on and off. And when the wire is exposed and oil on it, strong possibility it could have been from that. Look, like I said in the beginning, I'm not an electrician. I'm not a wiring specialist. That is not my expertise. I don't wire any damn thing. I really don't. I barely can un install a radio. That's not, <laughs> that's not my specialty, man. So, if, for your radio experts and all you wiring junkies, you can be like, hey, man, that is a horrible job you're doing. I'm like, you're right, man. I agree. You can make a video, tag me in it, and I'll watch and learn from it. For real. Like, straight up. That's all I'm going to put that. All right, look, man. See, look, you know what? Forget this, man. What this rig. Let me get some electrical tape. See, bam. See this? Look, I'm just going to just take this, just get it started, and I'm going to do a tight wrap. I'm just trying to just hold it in this place. Since it's all exposed, I got to unexpose it. There we go, baby. See that? Good as new. See that? Guys, all I did was just put some wire to it, try to help it out. I repaired the wire, so here the plug-in. There it is. Now we need to see if that's going to work. <laughs> the only way to know is to install this entire thing. You got to put everything back together. Oh, man. That's the sucky part. I'm just installing the little the little brake brackets and the brace crap thingies. <laughs> I stuck one of the long ones in this one of these right here. It's two of these long bolts right here to get through to all the entire side of that. And then bam, another long bolt. Oh wait, gotta come on there because you got your AC line. I don't want to bust that up. Got you now. And these bolts back in, just basically just Getting everything set in this spot so I can start tightening everything back down. Let's make sure that's in its place down there. Yeah. All I did was put the thing back on the plate. And pretty much the alternator is going to fold right down and you put the bolts back in the top. Alright guys, I'm going to just tighten up the bolts in this top brace right here. And now we'll get back to you guys in a couple seconds. We need a commercial break. <laughs> Alright, now I'm going with these little miniature bolts right here. These miniature bolts goes into the side thing, the little black piece. Right on the side of this piece right here. The part that holds up the alternator. Alright, now let's go. Those screws are going to be hard for you to see. You're going to have to be on the side, but... You'll know what to take apart once you get there. So I'm just gonna just tighten it by hand as much as I can. Make it nice and simple. All right. I'm gonna tighten up everything real quick. Hi right, guys, these three right there are the long bolts. They go straight through the, uh, the brace. So I'm gonna tighten all three of these. The little ones I just showed you. And uh, that's it. Those, these, that's a wrap for this. And all I gotta do is install the alternator. So when I'm done tightening up the two braces, I'll get back with you guys in a sec. Now I'm gonna install the pulley, the idle the pulley. Let's go ahead and stick that in there. All right, that bolt don't move. to pull it back on oh man all right guys look last but not least the alternator oh. final bolts right here these guys
that these screws here are I believe 15 millimeters and the third one is here this is your ground the alternator it's all three bolts guys back and open see how simple that was y'all didn't see me take it apart but y'all see me put it back together so it's the same thing same process the three steps I showed you You'll see it once you get into it. It all come to you. Believe in yourself and you can do it. <laughs> Don't be scared of it. Let's check and see if anything is uh, the all light pop back on. All right guys, I got the van outside running right here. It's running pretty good, the oil light, it all went off. So I'm guessing I fixed the problem. Either the electrical, I'm not sure, but I think it was Kind of a combination of both because the light blink on and off, then it will stay on some time. But all light, I mean, as soon as I started, it started driving maybe like a mile to pop on. But it's gone off now, so I guess that solved that problem. So y'all know exactly where to get it, how to attack it, and get straight to the point. All right, guys, that's the end of this video. Make sure you like this video, comment, subscribe to our channel, hit that bell so you get notified for all the tips and tricks on the car stuff. And if you want to check out some of our other content on our channel, SBF, Car Junk and Gang Gang Gang, and we out. Peace.